Hello Magic the Gathering players, this is Jack, aka the Jolly Noggle here, and uh, we are, for the most part, recovered from our drinking magic box from earlier today. Um, I have another box of magic, and three shots of gin that I didn't get to take. So, what I was thinking is, uh, I would pick the three best cards from this, take a shot for each of those, invocations are an obvious auto-include. Um, I think a, even a regular Nicol Bolas um, would be an auto include, and at the end we will we will tally it up. And any shot we uh, don't take during, we will take after uh, retro retroactively. So uh, uh, yeah, let's open this box. Hopefully, get uh, some good stuff. Uh, drink these last couple shots of gin and um, get crazy. Okay, <clears throat> all right, guys. So this is a very first pack. Let's see if it's something good. Uh, my very first box was very good, so this is a lot to live up for. And I'm having the same problems up in these packages. Camel, man, these uh these commons get old pretty fast. All right. Conventional Tactics, Jace's Defeat, ooh, we got a foil, Ramana Bruins, and Hour of Revelation, uh, another Wrath of God, ooh, foil and Conventional Tactics, not going to be worth much, but it's not nothing, well, let's see, let's look up and see if Hour of Revelation, I don't think any of the Hours except for maybe one of them, the Hour of Hellfire, something. Uh, let's see. Hour of Revelation. Not worth much. Um, Dollar eighty four. All right, just below. Um, all right, so let's do a new one. So we're looking for invocations. Uh, good foil rares. Dang, these packages are being particularly difficult. Um, come on. Uh, so foil rares, foil mythics, anything that's really exciting. Um, ooh, there's a foil on the back. Uh, any of the invocations. Just something exciting. Ooh, it is a full full art forest. Um, and a scavenger grounds. Uh, we talked about this in the last video. I think maybe someday that'll be important, but right now it's not. Um, the foil full art forest, however, I think is worth a fair bit of money. So we're gonna put it over there for now as one of the contenders for shots later. Through our commons, Bloodwater Entity, Crypt of the Eternals, Overcome, and Champion of Wits. We've opened a couple of them. Uh, Full Art Swamp, not bad. Um, not worth two dollars. All right. There are a couple surprise uh, two dollar plus cards in here. Um, and they're still rares, so they're not. You know, there's only going to be a couple of them, but there's a couple cards in here that are worth more than you'd think, at least right now. Um, but for the most part, it's a pretty unexciting set outside of the rares. Hollow One was, however, one of the cards. If we were doing our full drinking game, uh, this would be a drink, and this is uh, worth a couple bucks. I think it's going to probably go on one of the cycling decks. It's kind of just a, a free card most of the time. Uh, sweet. Full Art Island. I've noticed the, the Full Arts are actually a little bit more common than I expected. Alright, what do we got? Supreme Well, 
Torment of Scarabs. Uh, Braid and Solemnity. Ooh, that is a really good card. Uh, another full art. Um, Solemnity is worth a few bucks. We will put this in our potential pile for more drinks. Um, I figure we'll do the first third and see where we're at. If we don't get an invocation or something particularly exciting, we'll just uh, take a shot for the best card amount. I know the stakes aren't very high, but like, if you have extra shots in their jam, what are you going to do? Alright, Beetle. Struggle to survive. Not bad. Was that the one that was... Uh, hold on. There was one of those that was, however, above. Is it Struggle to Survive? Uh, no. Claim to Fame. Okay. Uh, Ronus' Last Stand. Not quite worth it, but still a good card. <laughs> Another Fuller Force. Wow, we are doing really well in the full art department. Um, these ones are slightly less exciting than the Zendikar lands because they're all the exact same. They have one different one for each color, but after that it is uh, identical. Oh, come on. There we go. Is it just me? Is it, it wasn't the drinking earlier? Like, am I still drunk? I don't, I don't know. But I feel like these, these packs are harder to open. Alright, here we go. Hope Tender. Tend my hope! Pyramid. I feel like they're always paired up. Uh, Eternal of Harsh Truth and Resilient Kenra. I haven't opened this one yet. Uh, when Resilient Kenra enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X until in return where it is his power. So it gets two, I mean, two two for two and then pumps them up. Uh, that's not, that's not bad actually. Late game, pretty good. Another full art. Hmm. Not bad. Alright, pretty pretty unexciting opening so far. Um, we're not quite a third of the way there yet, though. We still got a plenty, plenty of cards to open, so let's speed it up a little bit. Alright, here we go. Magmaroth. Consign to Authority. Bane with Punisher. And Earthshaker Kendra. Great and Limited. Another full art. And, but not worth much. Not yet, anyway. Who knows, it could be a breakout card uh, when the next set comes out. But right now, I I imagine like it might go it might go into some aggro decks, maybe on the side. Um, geez, I never had this much trouble. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, Sister Worm, Unraveling Mummy, On the Sphinx, and a Dorn Pouncer with another full art. Dorn Pouncer, this card is great. Uh, the foil of it is awesome. It's a pretty cool card. Cat Tribal. Uh, it's going to be a thing. I'm really excited about it, actually. Um, Longcuff Cub. It's a cat. Who knew? Alright, so... The uncommons. Alright. Imaginary threat threats? Oh, imaginary threats, not threads. Resolute survivors. Vizier and Hour of Eternity. Uh good card. But not worth much. Alright, not so exciting so far. That's alright, we got a lot of packs to go. Alright, come on guys, let's let's get something good. Uh, Diabolic Tutor, essentially, Manticore Eternal, Claim to Fame, there's the expensive one, and Hour of Devastation. Not worth much, uh, I'm gonna put this in the exciting pile because it is actually worth more than the rares that we have at the moment. Alright, let's get some good pulls. Um, alright, let's get to the uncommons, here we go. Ipnu, Rivulet, Overcome, Doom to the Dead, Driven, to Despair. This so far has been a pretty disappointing box, I'm not going to lie. After the last one, there was a lot of good stuff, we pulled a lot of great cards. Uh, this has been a very 
average box so far, but we're only a third of the way through. So let's get to the uncommons. Uh, Jace's Defeat. I have a better defeat card. Chef New Chefet Dunes. Torment of Scarabs and Endless Sands. As much as I want to like you, Endless Sands, you are not a good card. Alright, first third done. Nothing exciting so far. Come on, guys. Let's get something good. Let's get to the uncommons at a river. Hoop, hoopo? Hopo? It's a good card. I feel like it's always a good sign. Inferno Jet. Deserts Hold. And regular rare flying cycling. Decent card, but uh, nothing exciting. Man, uh, so far, kind of disappointing. Nothing worth. Uh, take a shot at Jake for at least. Oh, there's a foil in back. Alright, this is defeat. Pyramid. Burning Fist Minotaur. And Torment of Hailfire. Card worth more than $2, but still not that exciting. And Ambuscade. Ambuscade. Ambuscaday? I don't know. Something, but it's uh, not great. It's not exciting. I'm sure the old deck that I will need to make that will need uh, four of the torments, so I don't mind having a bunch of those, but it would be nice to get something exciting. Oh, kind of skipped ahead there. Crook. Riddle form. Claim to fame. Let's go down with another one of those. And, yep, Angel Condemnation, not great. Oh, but a Foil Rare, or Shaker Kendra. That was the, I did two pre-releases. This was my second pre-release uh, promo. So I already have that in Foil. Not bad. Double, uh, double Rare, one Foil. All right, truck along. Resolute Survivors, Vizier the Anointed, Raveling Mummy, and oh yeah, here we go, Scare of God, great card, I really, I really want as many of those as I can get, um, that is a pretty sweet card, second only to Nicol Bolas, and probably worth a shot, you know what, I think I will do a shot for that. It'll probably bring me luck in the rest of the packs. Double shot of Jin. Jin for the Jin God, which is now the Scarab God. Hopefully, we'll get a couple. Whew. That was gnarly. Alright. Hopefully, that was worth it when we get some good pulls from the rest of this. So Scorpion God is officially the Run God. Scared God is officially the Jin God. Nicole Bolas is just the God God. So, uh, I mean, I guess the Locust God couldn't possibly be in the packs that we have because we'll have to do, like, we'll have to be the Whiskey God or something. Manticore Eternal, Steward of Solidarity, Chef Dunes, Frang Sanity. Ooh, that is a mythic. Ooh, and a Vizier of the True Foil. Uh, that is a mythic. No, it is not. It is a rare. <laughs> I was wrong. I thought looked red for a second. No, that is, uh, but there are some combos that people are using for this. I'm actually pretty excited for this card. Um, it'll be used in a lot of formats outside of this, I think, when you can build around it. Although there is a fairly good mill deck going around in standard right now. So, anyway, um, that's pretty exciting. I will eventually want four of those, uh, but probably not a particularly expensive card. Uh, I don't know why that looked red, but it did. At least in my camera, it did. Um, but yeah, I mean, mill is a just kind of a dick move when it comes to beating people. 
it feels really bad to lose by running out of cards versus almost any other way, except for maybe Infect. I think Infect might be the, like, the most dick move way to lose. Um, Alright, here we go. Sinuous Striker. Farm to market. Pretty decent. Doom to the Dead. And Hazard's Undying Fury. Decent. Not worth much. Alright. About halfway now. Got a Scarab God. Got a Fring Sanity. Uh, we've got a lot to go. Uh, open Fire. So far, Open Fire at the front, as much as I hate this card and I feel like it's trolling me, uh, it's been a good sign so far. So, let's see what we get here. Manolith. It's not an uncommon. <laughs> Crypt of the Eternals. A braid. Great card. Chef of Dunes. Oh, Scorpion God. Oh, the Rum God has come to play. Alright, that is uh, Double God. Is that worth another shot? Probably. I feel like it's a little premature. Let's get through this third. And uh, regardless of what I pull for the rest of this, I'll take a shot. But uh, I feel like it's a little premature to take the third shot. Oh, that camel. He's so mad. He's so mad I didn't, uh, didn't take that shot. Uh, open fire. Oh, man. This this pack is, is destined to be a insane one for, the, for better or worse. Um, all right, Oasis, Horde, If Near Deadlands, oh, Mirage Mirror, uh, I want a pre-release of this card, um, it is amazing, I think it'll see a lot of play, I don't think it's on the list of cards that are more than two dollars, which is, oops, whoops, which is a shame, there we go. Which is a shame, uh, but I... Oh, it's 329. Okay. Uh, not the worst, actually. Um, this card, I am going to pick up at least eight of. I think it is an amazing card. I think it'll do great things. And I want to have a whole bunch of them. And I want to get them my... while no one knows if they're as good as they are. Um, so I'm going to be buying a lot of Mirage Mirror. Uh, don't blame me if they go down in price, but like I feel like of all the cards in the set that may surprise people, I think the ability to copy literally anything is one of those things. Ooh, there's a foil in the back. <laughs> Supreme Will, great. Appeal to authority. File Manifestation. And Hostile Desert. I believe in you, card. I believe in you. Your time will come. It's another card. I don't think I'll buy a bunch more, but that's one. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to move the mirror because it's worth a few bucks. I'm going to move you over here. Uh, but that guy. That uh, Hostile Desert. I think it's time to come, too. I think it's a sleeper card. You never know. I know anything, I know people love their man lamps and they'll throw them in anything, and this is an uncommon, or sorry, it is a rare, but it is a colorless man land, and uh, it'll go in anything once the co on color man lands go out of style, slash out of standard. Angel the God Pharaoh, Soul Strangler, so you're the true. I'm an eternal, this is worth a couple bucks, actually. This is on that list. Um, go home, Jack. You're drunk. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is worth a couple dollars. Uh, it's not terribly exciting, but it's worth something. All right, it's been it's been a pretty pretty decent box so far, actually. Um, started off a little slow. We're almost two-thirds of the way, and uh, I think it has the potential being good. All we'll, it will take is uh, one more invocation or a nickel bolo, so just something kind of exciting to kick it up over the edge. Pyramid. Ooh, it looks like there's a foil, maybe. Sunscreen Champion. 
Eternal Harsh Truths. Apocalypse Demon. Nope, oh, no shiny. I was wrong. Uh, I mean, if you build around this, maybe, but I think there's just so many ways to disable it. Make it completely pointless. There's going to be a lot of graveyard hate, I feel like, after the set. I mean, there's just so many things that are important to the graveyard that I think uh, sideboarding for the graveyard is going to be essential. So, I feel like certain cards that are aligned in the graveyard to be good um, will go out of style. Farm the Market, Sifter One, Bubble Spider. Reason to believe, not worth much. All right, last third. Let's do it. Bloodwater Entity. Oops. Dagger of the Worthy. Torments of Scarabs. Leave the chance. Nope. It's just funny that the only split card that is worth anything is uh, an uncommon. All the other ones, the rare ones, they're, they're decent. You know, they might see a little bit of play, but they're just not. They're just not going to see a lot. Not, not really worth it. I think the only thing that really determines whether or not a split card is going to be a good split uh, appeal to authority is if um, if both sides are good because typically like one side might be fine worth playing but the whole point of putting the card in your deck is if both of them are important to you and so many times out of these the reasons that the the one is good is because both sides are good in that format or in that uh, play style. Refuse to cooperate. These cards refuse to cooperate with me and produce exciting rares. Go home, camera, you're drunk. Alright. Camo! Alright, Camo. Be a good sign. I'll appreciate you. And open fire. Oh man, double troll. All right, we'll see. Ipni Rivulet, Doomfall, and Locust God. What did we miss? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Mister the True. Uh, yeah, Locust God. All right. Well, looks like we got the full lot to the party. Cool. One of each. That's not too bad. Um, I forgot to take a shot earlier, so let's do it now. One of each of the gods. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, the Scarab God is worth, uh, like, 15. I think they're all around, like, between, looks like, 8 and 12. Uh, Jin. Cheers. Jin for the Jin gods. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's rough. Well, we got one more shot left. We'll be taking it either way. Don't tell the cards that. The cards need to think that the only way to get me to drink that last shot is uh, if we get an invocation, which we haven't yet. So, invocation for the win. Razaketh's right. Struggle to survive. Dune Diviner. Hour of Glory. Uh, I haven't pulled this one yet. Cool to have. Not worth much. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. Six packs left after this. So hopefully one of these has. Super rare. Wouldn't that be exciting? Something kind of brown in the back. I don't know. It could be nothing. Angel. Tenacious Hunter. 
Desert's Hold, Jeru, and nothing. Jeru, open your eyes and see the invocation that you want to give me. Oh man, he is just one of the most unfortunate of uh, legendaries. Like, for five, you get a four three with vigilance. Already kind of blah. I mean, it should be four 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 three with vigilance for a legendary. Um, when he enters, search your library for a planeswalker card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. If a sorcerer deals damage to a planeswalker, put one of it. Like. I mean, Commander, Commander Super Friends, um, like, I, I mean, what deck do you put that in? It's double white, which is stupid on its own. It should be, it should be a single white. It should be four. It should be three and then a single white. And, uh, the fact that it puts it into your hand, it's just, you know, whatever. Like, if it was a 2-3 and it put into play, then that would be a legendary creature we could talk about. But, as is, it's just not. Crook. Blood Wanter Entity. Consign to Oblivion. And Bond to Slash Reckoning. Decent card. Worth some money. Not terribly exciting. Uh, yeah. Last five. All right, what do we need? We need a stem root. Uh, there's a couple of the mythics. I know there's one in each color. Uh, I could use the horse. Um, I don't remember what the other ones are. They're not very memorable mythics. They're kind of, you know, I guess mythics were meant to be flavor, but like I feel like with the rarity, they should be a little bit more than flavor. All right, Nessus Defeat. Ooh, Unraveling Mummy. Tenacious Hunter. Abandoned Sarcophagus. Wah, wah, wah. Something. Alright. Four. Well, if this box can perform, I do have a fat pack to open afterwards. Oh, come on. Focus. There we go. I uh, kind of peaked at the end, anyway. Seward. Dune Diviner. Deadlands. Wildfire, fire, eternal. Ooh, four, four, cool. Afflict four, one, four. When it attacks and isn't blocked, I can cast an instant or sorcery card from my hand without paying its mana cost. I guess if you could get, rush this out there or like make it so that it can be blocked, uh, that could be real sweet. There's a lot of things you can build around it, but I don't know. Uh, I feel like this needs a shell around it. Alright, last three. Doomfall, sweet card. Manticore Eternal, File Manifestation. Oketra's Last Mercy. Ooh, full art. Full art mountain. We're doing good on full arts. Uh, this is not a great card. I mean, it's a good card, but it's not a great card. Two packs left. Two packs with both with mythics in them. One's going to have a foil mythic in the form of an invocation. The other is going to be a regular mythic. That is awesome. Ooh. Nope. Oh, full art. All right. So... Credits at the end. Hoopoo. Tender. Tender, I hope. Oh. All right. All right. Crested somewhere. That is shot worthy uh, officially. Um, but. We'll see if the last pack has anything to put it over the top. All right, last pack. Come on. Come on, invocations. Don't leave it to the fat packs. Oh, camel. Oh, camel. You fuck right off. All right. Oh, uh, there's a foil. It is a foil mythic, actually. Oh, 
and a four. All right, this is a stack pack. I mean, anything could be in the back, but come on, like really? Campbell, <laughs> double troll, full art or not full, full art land, foil mythic. What's the rare? Striker, champion, real form, angel. Not terribly exciting, but foil Neheb. All right, well, good cards, good game, good packs. Uh, that is worth a shot. Gen to the Gen Gods. Three shots, three gods. It was worth it, after all. Cheers. Never again, Jen. Never again. All right. Well, I paid my debt to the gods of Amunket, the evil gods. Got in the head. Nothing else terribly exciting, but you know what? Not a bad box. There's the thumbnail for you. Uh, here's the drinking. Here's the magic. Here's the friends. Here's the fun. Keep playing, guys, and. Uh, I'll talk with you guys later.